But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hello, gifted podcast listeners. You are stronger and ready to finish the year well. Amen. Let's get into the word with Pastor Kwame. This is your girl, Steph. Blessed Christmas to you and your family. Preach the word, man of God. Praise be to God. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. It has been such an amazing experience for the past 10 days. Amen. And what I believe God wants me to continue doing is just now lay upon you some of the practical and the um, more of the theologically centered way of developing the gift of hearing from God and the spiritual maturation that comes with it. Hearing from God is necessary for the new testament believer in the old testament you sought a seer you sought a prophet to hear from god but when the curtain uh, let me keep going it's getting better uh, not only were you seeking a seer not only were you seeking um a prophet you also have to sit seek for the priest to access the holy place for you but when the man jesus died the scripture says now the curtains were opened and so access to god became possible and when he poured his spirit without measure on all of us we become candidates of his voice that's why the, the, the pastor will say for the anointing which you have received abided in you and you need that nobody teach you anything but the same spirit will teach you and so because of the abiding presence of the holy spirit in us now we have to begin to develop the voice of god and we walk with God and know his voice in the Old Testament it says now when I put the new heart in you you will not you will not be thought to know God but you will know it as he teaches you so I want to spend some time for the rest of the year and just teach you how to develop hearing from God amen that's what we're going to spend our time doing how to hear from God amen so um I'm reading from the book of Acts it's going to begin our conversation on hearing from God. The book of Acts chapter 13, the verse number 2, the scripture says, One day, as these men were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, One day, as these men were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Amen. Um, I want to begin our a series of talk on hearing the voice of God the first thing which is the Holy Spirit is a communicator he did not come to be silent in your life he didn't come to talk to your enemies he didn't come to talk to the devil he came to talk to you Jesus said this as I'm leaving I'm going to bring the comforter who will come and teach you all things. And the things that he has actually taught, I have taught you, he will bring it into remembrance as well. So your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit becomes the basis upon which you know that you are expecting him to talk to you. And so in my assignment here, the Bible says, as the men were praying, this is the apostles that the scripture is referring to as they were together and fasting and praying and waiting on god in the midst of their worship the holy spirit said now i want you to get the full understanding of it because as i begin to teach on the different ways you hear from god you come in contact with this example which is the holy spirit said through prophecy amen the Holy Spirit said through prophecy. So that's an example. But I wanted to focus on the word the Holy Spirit said to give you the understanding that the Holy Spirit is saying it. The Holy Spirit is talking to you. The Holy Spirit is your talking uh, kind of person. The Holy Spirit is has a voice that must be not only learned, but understand when he speaks 
before I get a little deeper today, I want to tell you a little bit about hearing from God requires a little more than learning it yourself. Samuel, for example, need a little bit of Eli in his life to kind of fine tune him to be able to differentiate between his own voice and Eli's voice and God's voice. So that is where I come in and I begin to share some things with you that will help you understand the voice of God. But I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit said, which simply means he is with you to say something. He's with you to give you answers. He's with you to not let you get it wrong. When you do it your way, you get it wrong. According to the verse, said the Holy Spirit said, separate Barnabas for an assignment. So you see that um, the Holy Spirit is a voice you must listen to. Because when you listen to the Holy Spirit, you do God's will by obedience. You understand that? And the Holy Spirit speaks clearly concerning matters which are basically the truth. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully give you a foundation of the awareness of the Holy Spirit that you must not only kind of um, be empowered by him but you must have a conversation with him. You know, we receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us but the Holy Spirit is not power, it's a person. And so you must know how to talk to the Holy Spirit. The, the funny thing is that if you don't know the Holy Spirit, you actually don't know God. It's a trick, which is a very big one. If you don't know the Holy Spirit by voice, because the scripture says, as many as are led by the Spirit, the same are called the sons of God. You follow? So, your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit is the only proof that you are a child of God. Your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit is the only proof that you are a child of God. That's why you must desperately... If you don't know the Holy Spirit, you are not a child of God. Period. If you don't know the Holy Spirit, you can be a pastor, but you are not a child of God. The reason is because the Holy Spirit is the only proof that you go to heaven. They call it the seal. The Holy Spirit is a receipt. It's a proof that you have been chosen. You understand that? The down payment. See by the Holy Spirit for the full benefit thereof. So, you are a child of God. You have the Holy Spirit. And so, you have to now talk to Him conversation-wise. Hear Him. And more importantly, we are focused on hearing from God and hearing from the voice of the Holy Spirit. So that is what I want you to understand. Another thing I want to touch on today is the fact that um, the Holy Spirit has come to us, sent from the Father to commune with us and when he was coming, sometimes I call it a she. <laughs> when she was coming, when, when the Holy Spirit was coming, he came with one thing, which is he would do everything that would please the Son. So the Holy Spirit will never tell you something that Jesus wouldn't want you to do. You understand that and the holy spirit, the Holy spirit is so good that he, i'm sure the trinity they have their own things to say but jesus said he, he will only say things that i have kind of that is in line with what i was teaching you in other words the subject i'm teaching you is the same subject the holy spirit will teach you so there will not be a contradiction so I want you to be confident that when you hear the Holy Spirit, it will not contradict the Bible. It will not contradict anything. Because here, the people were listening to the Holy Spirit directly and it was in line with the Great Commission. So rest assured that when you hear from the Holy Spirit, it will not contradict the Bible. It will be in line with the Bible exactly. And sometimes it's so good that if you know another Bible, as soon as the Holy Spirit says it, a Bible verse will come into your mind. To confirm that this is truly the voice of the Holy Spirit. 
but i want to whip your appetite that you are going to start hearing from him you're going to start writing things he says and you're going to start talking back to the holy spirit the holy spirit is going to give you answers to certain things you didn't know before it's going to be so beautiful i believe that this year we're going to get into spiritual gift and how to activate it as a desire of mine for you to be able to hear from god yourself activate all the gift things the audible audi- like sometimes it's an audible voice you hear sometimes it's a prompting in your spirit we will i'll take each and every one of them and kind of teach it sometimes too it's just a clear cut um strong inclination but you have to understand that the holy spirit is trying to get your attention with some of these things and then you will and and to hear the holy spirit is a it's a blessing and it comes with some kind of um some kind of holy spirit i want to hear from you kind of behavior you understand that every skill has a behavior requirement everything has a be so every thing you want to do or see in your life it has a behavior pattern to it when you see a very handsome well-built man on social media talking about uh, how to stay healthy and build your muscle whilst he's speaking what what he's selling you is a lifestyle that support the way he looks when you see me talking about, so whatever you can be displayed for people to see it comes with a lifestyle it comes with that kind of way of living your life so those who want to hear the holy spirit also have a way we live our lives you understand those who want to look sexy they don't eat at certain times those who want to you know they, there's some code of conduct that comes with that calling you understand so every oh i'm telling you everybody who is excelling in what you're doing there is a co- code you can you can't come in and do it your way and succeed amen and so as we seek to learn how to clearly hear from the holy spirit i just want to let you know that it comes with not just adjusting your life but picking new priorities picking a way of feeding yourself picking a way of um doing things there must be things you will not engage in not to grieve the person you spend time with there must be a time with the holy spirit there must be a sense of heart and mind preparation that goes into your daily communion with the holy spirit once you build that then you will know that it is the holy spirit that said i shouldn't go to this place because the most difficult thing for most people is that we don't know whether it's our own mind or it's the holy spirit or it's the movie you just watched last night that showed the dream to you and the reason is because you don't have only one channel you have multiple channels that feed your spirit man so when one is talking you cannot tell about a person who has decided to hear from the holy spirit they have conditioned their spirit man to a sense that they do a lot of things that are in commune with the holy spirit so they have built that kind of continuous spiritual um encounter with the holy ghost to a point that when the holy ghost speaks they can hear you understand that and they are familiar with the holy spirit and so we'll share more of that but today i just wanted to get you ready for what we'll be doing for the next few days to the years over hearing from god on a more practical step by step i'll talk about all the ways god speaks to you and things you can do to sharpen your ability to hear i want you to challenge yourself it begins with the desire some of you are going to start speaking to people's life you're going to start um picking um spiritual things from people you can walk past people and then 
the holy spirit will just drop something in your in, in you some of you are going to be able to even it will just come to you that are you this person and they will say yes so how do you know said so i just sense the holy spirit doing it and if you begin to desire these things and you yearn for it and you uh, kind of labor in how to walk in that grace is going to be a beautiful thing because i think without that we're going to get lost in 2021 you know i have come to realize that if you cannot hear the holy spirit you'll be confused because you can have 10 men of god saying 10 different things you understand that so i want to help you go through the journey on hearing from god for the rest of the year and also spend some time with you in things that i believe will be edifying god bless you and let's pray that the holy spirit will do his work as we begin to hear his voice father we want to thank you we want to bless you for your voice is what we seek i pray that we will learn to know you more and to love you more in jesus name amen